Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Maverick Trading. Today, we're going to talk about trading directly from the charts on the Trader Workstation platform. When you're trading from the charts, obviously, this pertains mostly to stock trading, but I'll show you how to access the options and do some different things directly from those charts. So in order to do this, let's just pull up a chart to start. Here inside of Trader Workstation, Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation platform, if I pull up a chart, if I wanted to change the stock symbol, I could change it up here. So if I wanted to look at Apple's chart, well, I just punch that in. If I wanted to look at Google or whoever, right, I just punch in the stock symbol up here and it would change the chart accordingly. Of course, we can adjust the parameters if we wanted to add moving averages or, or whatever. Let's just add a simple moving average. Let's say we wanted a 50 period and let's say that we wanted it to be dark blue or, or something. Well, we can customize all of that. And now you can see that 50 period moving average is now on the chart and we've got a daily time frame. So that's a 50 day moving average. If I turn to an hourly chart, well now it's a 50 hour moving average, right? And so uh, you can chart, of course, the things that you're analyzing and trading and such. Now let's say that you had a short setup here in Google and you were thinking, well, I wanna short this stock if and when it breaks support. So there's a couple of nice things about trading directly from the chart. One is that you can make all these annotations and they will be saved. If I, if I close down Google or whatever, it, next time I pull it up, I can have this chart save these annotations so that I can see this price pattern, I can see it developing, maybe it's not ready quite yet, well, I would have my annotations on the chart and then when it is ready I can execute and by seeing the chart pattern and having those in there it just kind of speeds up that process and then from here of course we can place orders so if I right click on the chart I can hit the sell button and that just told me that it was going to expand my my order area and let's snap that right there let's just drop it in so this says I want to sell 100 shares of Google at 93.75. That's that price I put it at. Now the stock's at 93.64. So in this case, it would have to tick up a little bit to hit that limit price. If I don't feel like that's right where I want it, I can grab it and adjust it. And see, as I move it, it changes the price. Now I've got a short setup at 93.88. So you can grab these lines and hold down your mouth and just move them around and snap them right to where you want them to be. Next, we could add, so I could right click on that order line and I could add or attach certain orders to it. For example, let's say I just wanted a stop order. I can click on that and now it has a buy to cover stop, protective stop for this short position and I can snap it where I want it to be. Or if instead of the stop, let's go back, let's remove it, let's right click, we could attach a bracket order. Now what's a bracket order? Well, a bracket order would not only allow you to put a stop loss above, a target price down below when you're short. So you could say, well, you know, I think this thing could go down here maybe to, you know, whatever. And let's say we wanted the target to be uh, $90.85, well, we just put that where we want it and we could grab and adjust and, and you know, move the different prices. Whoops, I, I changed the price of the wrong thing. I put that, uh, this one is what I changed and I meant to change the profit target. So let's put this back where it was. Here's my profit target. Let's move that to $90-ish. Okay, now we have our target down here at 90 and then our stop order, we want just maybe above the channel. And so here I've got a trade where I'm shorting the stock at 93.85, stop loss up above in case I'm wrong. The difference between those is my risk. In case I'm right, the difference between those is my reward. 
And you can see that our reward area is bigger than our risk area, right? We've probably got a two to one or a little bit better than that reward to risk ratio. So we can make 385 in profits times 100 shares. Well, that's a $385 potential profit. If I say, well, I'm willing to have more risk, more reward, I can trade 200 shares instead of 100 and so on. But it just gives you flexibility and it gives you the ability to put these prices exactly where you want them. You can see it on the chart and you can say, well, that's not quite where I want it. I want it here. I want it a little tighter. Uh, this target price, well, maybe I want it just above 90 instead of directly on top of 90. And you can adjust the price here, which will move it. Or you can kind of grab them and get them to the general area. And then you say, okay, well, let me, you know, it's pretty close, but maybe I want it to be at 90.15. I just want it at that exact price. And so you can manipulate those things. Another thing that you can do, if I was to come over here and go ahead and, and look at this order, one of the things we would want to do is change our target and our stop loss to good till canceled orders. So this is what we would call one triggers other. If the first order goes through, it will trigger the stop loss and the target orders to go live to the market, but only if that first order goes through. See how it's order two and then this is 2.2, 2.3. That basically these are triggered if the first order executes. What happens is if this first order does not execute, does not hit our price, if it gets canceled at the end of the day for a non-execution, actually all of them go away. All of the orders because of course your stop loss and your take profit would never have gone live to the markets. So those are, again, some ways that you can do it. You can right click and you can come over here if you're on the chart you could say, well, I want a quote panel. And as you look at this quote panel, it's giving you a variety of different informational pieces. And sometimes traders will want that quote panel up here to kind of say, okay, I want some information on this stock. I want to know how tight the bid ask spread is while I'm trading it. I want to know what type of size there is on the bid or on the ask. Uh, what's its high and its low for today? Uh, fundamental data or how much open interest in the options. We could right click and we could come over and get fundamental data or time and sales or pull up options or set alerts. If I wanted to be alerted to something, I could, I could create an alert accordingly. But I wanted to come over here to options because of course at Maverick, we trade a lot of options. So notice as I right click, I can pull up an option chain and now I can kind of work off of the chart plus building an option strategy. So I could say, okay, well, I, I'm bearish on this. I think it's going to go down. Well, maybe I want to buy this one. So I'll point and click and I want to sell this one, you know. And so now I'm building a certain structure and I'm building a certain trade. And if I wanted to analyze this further, instead of doing it here, I could have even clicked the strategy builder. And then as I point and click, it builds it in, buy the 94, sell the 90, and it gives me a, a little uh, risk graph there of what this bearish spread would be. But even more to the point, if I click the profile, it'll give me a rundown of my reward and risk. It'll give me a, a risk graph. I can even change the probability moves. So I could say, well, what would this trade look like if this stock moves between zero to 10% either way? And it shows you that if the stock's going up in price, up 1%, we're losing. Up 5%, we're losing more. Up 10%, we're losing it all that we put, basically paid for this trade. If the stock goes down, 1% we're making. If it goes down 5%, we're making more. And if it goes down 10%, we're basically at our maximum profit. See the max gain, max risk. We pretty much top out at those numbers and so it gives you that breakdown. You can even come in and change the date forward and see the progression of this trade. And that's what this dotted line is. It will show you before expiration. Then of course, once you hit expiration, now you're at your 
at expiration risk graph, the maximum amount of profit and the maximum amount of loss, and it shows you the stock prices accordingly. So we really need the stock to fall below 94, which is the put we're buying, and finish below 90 to realize maximum profitability. So directly from the chart, we're able to look at these key levels, build the strike prices directly, and do some of our homework that way. Again, how did we do that? We right click, we can click the option trader button it'll pull up the options it pulls it up on my other screen but I drag it over and then I can sit here and say well you know March is too close but let's do a January and let's uh, let's build this spread and so forth or if you prefer a little more detail which I kind of do I, I hit the strategy builder and then I would point and click either way you're building that spread accordingly then as you hit profile, it gives you the breakdown, the risk, the reward, the probability. Um, that didn't show up entirely on the screen. I need to adjust that over so you can see it. There's the, the full breakdown. You can see smaller price moves between 1% to 5% up or down, between 0 to 10% up or down, or between 0 to 30% up or down, and what that does for your trade. And of course, because this is a bearish trade, you'll notice the P&L, the profit and loss, is showing profitable as the stock falls, but unprofitable if the stock were to rise. And that makes sense given the structure of the trade. So directly from the charts, we're normally trading a lot of stock if we're just clicking and you know selecting. So if I wanted to buy, if I wanted to sell, I'd just select, I just right click, select what I want to do. If I want to get to the options, I right click on it and come over to the option trader, pull that up and build my trade accordingly. But doing it from the charts because a lot of times we're using technicals to manage our risk, reward, probability, it really helps to speed up that process. So I hope you enjoyed this video on trading directly from the charts on the Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation platform. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Goodbye everyone.